There's nothing more humbling as a politician at any level of government, state, local or federal, to watch the enormous step that you're about to make here today. Because in essence what you're doing is that you are with us, but you are becoming one of us. And in doing so, becoming one of us, with us, you're making our country a stronger country. And that's something that's not often spoken enough. I am a great optimist about our country's future. And I know that that would have been one of the things that brought you to this country. It's about not just your future of your family, but your children's future. And just as many of us have shifted out to this area to make a better life for our children and our children's children, so you have done from much greater distance, from many different cultures, from all parts of the globe, to make this place your home. And it makes, as I said, our country stronger and it makes it richer. There's a lot that's been said. I noticed that President Obama, in his inaugural speech, spoke of uh, equality and the guiding star of equality. Well, uh, I wouldn't say that President Obama is a plagiarist, but he should come to Australia. Because if you look at the stars of the Southern Cross, they are there for a particular reason in our flag, and we've got lots of little flags over there. What they are meant to signify, the stars of the Southern Cross, is our place in the universe, our place in the world. But I also have another view about that. What they do do is that you can only see, as I said, those stars from the Southern Hemisphere. But what they do do, it doesn't matter if I'm Anthony Byrne, Tim Holding, Julie Gillard, James Packer, wherever you come from, whatever race, whatever colour, whatever creed, we are all equal under the stars of the Southern Cross. And I think that's one of the great characteristics of our Australian country. And it's something that we need to talk more about. The other thing I think we need to talk about is just the freedoms that you've come here from different countries that may not have the same freedoms that we do. But we celebrate our freedom, we celebrate our capacity to provide opportunity and security and hope. And I'll give an example of that. I um, sometimes meander down to the Endeavour Hill Shopping Centre and that can be full. And, uh, and I was shopping at a particular shopping centre, uh, a shop that shall remain nameless, and I was very concerned because I could see a gentleman that was staring at me, and that can be good and it can be bad. Um, often it's bad. And uh, I was walking through the aisles and I could sort of see him occasionally as we got to the end of the aisle, I'd see him and it was inevitable that he wanted to talk to me about something and that was a good thing, it was about half past nine at night. And at the end, we basically bumped into each other. And he said, you know, you're Anthony Byrne. Yep, I was waiting for it. And he said, I want to know one thing. I thought, gosh, my mind was racing about what that might be. He said, where's your bodyguard? And I said, what bodyguard? And he said, in my country, I have never met a politician that's going through a shopping centre without a bodyguard. And that should tell you a lot about Australia, that I can go to that shopping centre, I can talk to that gentleman, and I can talk to him as an equal, and he can talk to me as an equal, and his voice is as, as important as mine. So there are other speakers here. Welcome. I am I'm always humble in watching you take this step. And I congratulate you for the journey that you've made to this country, and I particularly congratulate you for becoming part of us. And regardless of what you read, and regardless of what you hear, and regardless of what might be said, we are all equal. We all will be Australians together soon. And by doing that, you have made our country a better country, a richer country, a stronger country, and a country who will see its best days ahead, not behind. Thanks very much.